is up guys this is mike dean with first step travelers so today since greg carey and i just left faro portugal and we've made our way to huelba by bus we're going to be going over six things you can do in huelba so i hope you love spain now i want to start by saying i absolutely love spain the atmosphere the vibe the history things aren't very expensive and if you know a little bit of spanish people definitely appreciate it <laughs> Why does everyone in Europe smoke? <laughs> it's a continental. We are very addicted to the lifestyle. Addicted to love and cigarettes and tapas. To love. <laughs> Not to mention, the food is amazing, and that is what we're going to start with eating. Now, if you're not familiar with Spanish culture, tapas are a huge thing to enjoy in Spain. Basically, tapas are small portion meals that you order plenty of and sit down and enjoy with others. And though tapas are something I'm sure you're going to enjoy a lot of in Spain, there's still plenty of other places to eat. Lomo and Borghesa dos Quiero. Two euro for this. It's pork and hamburger. It's delicious. Gelato. So this is probably the best menu I've ever seen. You guys want some ant goes up the tree? No? Okay, I understand. Got some fried chicken balls. <laughs> Gotta get the stuffed mushrooms to the Chinese style. Fried rice from tree, delicious. Oh my god. You want roasted duck with species? <laughs> what? <laughs> what number is that? <laughs> you guys want some species duck? Some species. <laughs> it's a tuna salad. Tuna salad. Yeah, I'm gonna follow the drip. <laughs> Since Spain is such a mix of different cultures, you can basically get any type of food here. But the one thing I admire about the Spanish culture and other Mediterranean countries is the fact that having a meal means sitting down and actually having conversations with others, which is something I really don't see a lot of where I'm from. Everything is very fast-paced and everyone is usually distracted by something else, like their phone. So let's talk the city itself. Now there's only one way to get a real feel for the city. And that is walking the streets. Breakfast. You have had breakfast already? Uh, not a, not a good one. Not a good one, no. Okay. Well, I mean, I did have a great one, but... <laughs> Burger King. Now, what does it mean? Okay. You will have a coffee, a toast, and an orange juice for one sixty. Oh. No? Oh. Ay, Dios mío. Dios mío. Dios mío. <laughs> Just touring around, you can't help but admire the Spanish architecture in all the plazas and the building design. You could literally spend the day getting lost in the city and admiring the Spanish charm. But I know you ladies are going to want to do some shopping. And trust me, there are plenty of places to do that.
But after the sun goes down, you'll definitely want to hit the streets for one of Huelva's mini fiestas. They're a lot of fun, and not to mention, the city is beautiful at night. And if you want to make use of the Spanish sun, catch a bus 20 minutes to Punta Umbria, the local beach near the city. I think you'll enjoy this place. And the final thing we did before leaving Spain was visit a Hoist Gracie affiliate gym ran by Jesus. This place was home to some tough fighters. They even let us come in and train with them. So if you're in Huelva and you want to get a workout in or do a bit of training, head over to Jesus' gym. He's an awesome guy and very welcoming. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Up next, we're headed to Berlin to spend a few days before saying goodbye to Greg. Something I do want to mention is the fact that after Huelva, we actually went to Sevilla. And Sevilla is an incredibly beautiful city. But I did not record any of it because ain't nobody got time to be recording stuff 24-7. I was busy. This girl is dangerous. But I do recommend going. I love that place. So if you're in Huelva, catch a bus to Sevilla. It is well worth it. A huge shout out to everybody I met here in the city. Laura, Fran, Carrie, of course, Jesus, and everyone at the gym. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And tell me about your favorite city in Spain. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.